Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with a get ready with me and today we're going to be getting ready for Soul Aquarius. And if you guys don't know what Soul Aquarius is, it's basically an R&B festival. This is the first of its kind, I guess. There's never been an R&B festival before that I know of here in California. Yeah, so today we're getting ready for Soul Aquarius and quick little disclaimer, don't hate me guys. I am not actually going to Soul Aquarius right after this. I'm filming this after I already been to Soul Aquarius. And the reason being is because I seriously didn't have any time to actually film this video the day of. Today I'm going to quickly show you guys step by step how I got the look that you guys probably saw in the thumbnail. And talking to you guys about my experience with Aquarius since it was the first of its kind. There were some inconsistencies and some things that were kind of made me upset. So I'm going to be talking about it all. But first I do want to state that I already did my eyebrows and part the top and bottoms of it. It takes me forever to do. I'm just going to put some moisturizer. This is the Symphony Beauty Snow Cream Moisturizer. I actually have this in my everyday drawer. And I actually made a video about that. So if you guys would like to see what makeup I'm keeping in my everyday drawer for this month, you guys should totally check it out. I'll go ahead and link it down below. But like I was saying, if I were to do my eyebrows um, in the get ready with me, this video would be an hour long just doing my eyebrows because I spend so much time on my eyebrows. And I think they're a little bit thicker than the Saturday, but that's okay. So um, next, we're going to go ahead and prime our face. I should have waited a little bit, but I'm just going to go ahead and prime it. This is another one of those things that I have in my everyday drawer. This is the Estee Edit by Estee Lauder Pore Vanishing Stick. And I'm just going to put it in the spots that I have the most pores, which is right here. And a little bit on my forehead. I'm actually going to be using two primers, two pore kind of vanishing primers. I put my professional next. The only thing I don't like about Get Ready With Me's, to be honest, is that I don't get to play music in the background. I absolutely love playing music when I'm doing my makeup, so. And I usually put primer on my lids as well, like the face primer, I don't know why. So I was very, very excited to go to Soul Aquarius, as you guys may know. I've been talking about it since my What I Got For Christmas video. I got to go with my sister and we met up with one of my childhood friends, Amy. For my foundation, I did use that day the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. Oh my god, guys. This isn't you or anything, but I just discovered it. It's so freaking good. And this is a darker shade than my skin tone. It might not look like it, but... It is. You guys will see right now. Watch. And I usually use this with the beauty sponge. I don't think you could use this with the brush. See, it's a little bit darker than my actual, like, face, but it matches my neck, so. Like, I go right in the pot. And just, and as you guys can see, I have a pimple right here. I don't know why or how I got that. Like, I don't know, but. So, me and my sister, we were kind of freaking out because if you guys haven't heard, here in California on Friday, there was like a pretty much like a huge rainstorm. This is the most rain we've had, I think, since 96. I think I was reading up on it and it said that. And I, we were kind of scared because the event was actually outdoors. So we were thinking, oh no, like it's gonna rain. Like, like I'm not gonna be able to wear makeup. I have to wear like a raincoat and all these things, right? And it actually did end up not raining, I would say sprinkling. But I didn't wear as much makeup as I usually would wear just because I thought it was going to rain. So this is pretty light coverage. This is not full coverage at all, but I really, really like it. I actually use this sometimes when I go to school because at school we have this gym. And I like to go right after class. So, And yes, I go to the gym with makeup, but not as much makeup as I would wear. Like I don't wear like a ton of makeup for school. I just don't have the time in the morning. I like getting my sleep, so... To go ahead and contour next and i'm going to be using the wet and wild contour shade and the shade 805 call me maple and this day like i said i didn't want to go like all over the top or anything so just contour the hollows of my cheeks next one here and here so nothing too like extreme and okay let me talk to you guys a little bit more about soul aquarius so the tickets have been on sale for like about this, I think since December because I got these tickets as a Christmas present so they have a lot of amazing artists like R&B artists from like a long time ago but the main reason that I got the tickets 
was because the dream if you guys don't know who the dream is I'm gonna try to put some like the dream music right now um, just a little bit so you guys can like I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of the dream somehow you guys have heard the songs he's written I know he's written umbrella for Rihanna he's also co-written was it touch my body for Mariah Carey baby for Justin Bieber literally he's the American dreamer that's literally his um, name so that's the main reason why I wanted to go because of him I absolutely love his songs let me play a song that I really like actually like this is my favorite song and he actually sang it I was so happy <laughs> Next, I do want to use the two concealers that I have in my everyday drawer. I'm going to go ahead and dot this um, Milani Retouch and Erase Concealer. I'm just going to dot it right here. I'm just going to do four dots. And then, since this is a little bit too light for me, I'm going to go ahead and do the Maybelline Concealer right on top of that. This is in the shade 20 Sand. And with concealer, I always kind of go ham because I love concealer, <laughs> to be honest. Why do I always forget to blend my bottom lip? I don't know. I don't know, guys. Okay. And I'm just going to get the beauty blender. But like I was saying, he was basically the main reason why I was going. Him and Lloyd, but I totally like missed his set. Like We weren't there on time. And the line to get in. I think I waited in line like an hour and a half just to get in and by the time we were in the front of the line guys there was no line like everybody was just there which means that I could have been in the front with the whole group of people that didn't wait in line like the rest of us they just went in the front and nobody said anything there was like like I said so many inconsistencies and I mean that kind of made me upset as well as okay this is not gonna be a rant <laughs> I don't want it to be a rant because I did have a good time I did get to see the dream. I got to see DMX, which I wasn't too like crazy about. I just was there because the dream was right after him. And I was actually in front row for the dream. So that's why I was really happy. Um, but I was waiting there for like two plus hours, honestly, to get to the front. But I think it was worth it. At first, I didn't think it was. Like at first, I was like, oh, my feet hurt. I'm thirsty and all of that. But by the end of the night, I did see who I went there to see. So, okay, I'm going to set my under eye with the shade and light yellow shade here, as always. So another thing that kind of was like, wow, what the heck, was that a bunch of diff like good artists were playing at the same time in different stages, like on the other side of the festival. So I literally had to pick and choose who I was going to wait for. And obviously, I wanted to wait for the dream, so I missed out on... Um, I believe Jenna Aiko, Erica Badu, The Internet, I missed out on... I did miss out on a couple of artists, but like I said, I am okay with that because I got to see the dream. For my bronzer, I'm going to be using the Balms Bahama Mama. I hauled this, I think, like a couple videos ago. So it's just a bronzer, and I'm going to use this on my lid, actually, too. So I use this as the only shade on my crease. So I'm gonna post like a Twitter tweet that I saw that was so like relevant. Oh, I don't I don't know if I'll post, but it was really funny and I was like, this is me. Like and this foundation was actually matte, so oh my god, it was perfect the whole day. Like it didn't move or anything. This is basically all I did because like I said, I didn't have time for much. And I didn't want it to be like super dramatic just because of the weather and all of that. I'm going to try to put some footage of the dream at the end, but I think most of the videos that I took, I put on Snapchat, so they're all gonna be like vertical. And that kind of like, like sometimes I'm a perfectionist with my videos, so if it's not like horizontal, like I won't put it. Like that's happened to me like, a lot with like vlogs and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner. As always, I just did it with the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. And as you guys can see, I kind of went for more of a grungy look. I didn't want it to be like super glam or anything. And then I'm just going to go ahead and coat my lashes with the Tarte Tardius Mascara. 
I'm going to go ahead and put lashes on. So for lashes, I'm going to go ahead and put on the Intoxicating Lashes by Flare Lashes. And I'll be right back. As you guys can see, lashes make such a big difference. At first, I wasn't going to put them on because I didn't have time. But I ended up putting them on as soon as my sister went to go get gas. I just quickly put them on. I just feel like it really makes such a big difference. It really opens up my eyes and I think it just completes the look. I put underneath my lash line a little bit bronzer as well and I put some mascara. Now for the blush, I went ahead and used the Max Alina collection. This is the Technocumbia kind of bronzer and blush. I wanted to use a bronzer and I totally forgot about it and I totally forgot about it today too. I'm not like too crazy about this product just because the blush is super tiny and it's kind of hard to put on my cheeks. So I mean I try to get as much as I could out of it but it's just, I don't know, it just didn't work out as well as I wanted it to. For my highlight, I went ahead and used a new product that I hadn't tried out before. This is the Jouer Powder Highlighter. <gasps> guys, it's a train highlight that everybody's talking about. And look what just happened, guys. Yep, that's me. I feel like I always mess up my makeup. Oh my god. I. It's just so hard to open. That's why. I'm so sad. Okay. And I'm just going to put it right here. Pretty good. It's a pretty nice highlighter. Okay, I think I overdid it. I'm just gonna put some on my nose. I actually did this pretty fast. I usually take forever to do my makeup, but this simple look took me like 20 minutes. I mean, obviously right now it's taking me a little bit longer. I'm just going to put it in my inner corner. Like I said, obviously right now it's taking me a little bit longer because I'm talking through it and stuff. And then I'm going to get some on my brow bone with this fan brush. I think that's enough for me. I'm just going to go over the blush just so it won't be super overpowering. And then... Now that we sunk a hole in my highlight, we can move on to lips. For lips, I'm going to go ahead and use Magnetic Matte Lip Color. This is in Greystone. It's just pretty much a brownish color. But first for my lip liner, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Dark Brown Lip Liner. I felt like it was so much easier to apply this Greystone because this is kind of like a chubby lipstick as you can see. And I didn't like it when I applied it by itself. I feel like I need a lip liner with this. I'm just going to line my lips. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and go in with that magnetic matte lip color where I need to stick. It's a little bit more browner, but... And this kind of dries a little bit fast, I would say. So if you're going to use this, work fast with it, like so. And then I'm just going to use the kind of blender side of the lip liner just to blend those two colors together. I didn't think I was actually going to find this useful, but it really is. And then that's pretty much it for the look. I'm just going to go ahead and set my eyebrows. The last thing I forgot to tell you guys that really made my day too was that I actually saw Desi there. Let's take a picture with her if you guys follow me on my makeup Instagram, which is Makeup by Romina V. You guys would have seen that. I posted a picture with her and I just was so happy because I haven't had the chance to actually meet her in the past. She actually complimented my liner. So she was super, super sweet. So I was really happy about that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Pixie makeup fixing mist this is this actually has rose water and green tea which is so so good so it's just like it smells so delicious so i just drenched my face with that and that's pretty much it for this get ready with me guys 
this is basically how my look ends up looking like I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me I love these videos I actually love getting ready to get ready with me <laughs> um, I just feel like the other person's just there talking to me and we're both just getting ready and I probably will be having a get ready with me for my birthday next week I turn 21st on the 27th I'm so excited I'm sorry that I didn't show you guys how to do my hair just basically two braids and the reason being is because I didn't do my hair I don't know how to braid my own hair my mom actually did this for me so but this is just how it looks like so I'll go ahead and turn it around my mom is no expert but she's always always done my hair or dyed my hair or anything so I always go to her for like hair and stuff I really hope you guys enjoy this nonetheless please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already and I will see you guys in my next video Bye, guys.